nice. Ooh, they got a big guy right there. Oh, did you want to shot him? <laughs> oh, nice. Got him. Ever since the first major weapons update in Helldivers 2, the railgun has lost its popularity, and for good reasons. It used to be a reliable counter to things like chargers and bile titans, but is it still a valuable weapon? Oh, man. I think we can see the answer to that is yes. And here is how you get good with the railgun. Nice. The railgun is an instantaneous long-range precision rifle that when used well, will turn the worst of automaton infantry into immediate scrap. Tired of dealing with the walkers? Well, send them flying. Rockets getting you down? Well, just delete them. I think we can all agree that one of the biggest threats on the field when you're fighting against the automatons is the Hulk, and sometimes more than one show up at a time. Now there are a few different ways that you can deal with this. Orbital Airstrike, Eagle One, you can bring a Quasar Cannon, but the Quasar Cannon can only shoot so fast and sometimes it takes multiple shots even if you get a really precise shot to the face. Well, it turns out the railgun is one of the most efficient ways for quickly taking out one or even multiple hulks so long as they're facing you or have their back to you with just one shot. In order to become this bot destroying bastion of democracy, all you gotta do is follow three very simple steps. The first one is to immediately switch the gun to unsafe mode the moment you pick it up. Safe mode can put in some work, but you want to get used to the power that unsafe mode offers you. In order to do that, you have to learn to manage the charge. Now, of course, we know what happens when you overcharge the gun. As soon as it hits 100% on that charge, you will blow up, but even more tragically, the rail gun will blow up and you'll have to call in a new one and if you do that really early on in the match, that means you're without a support weapon for quite some time. But if you follow these next two steps, you'll never have to worry about that embarrassing failure ever again. This is what separates the regular Railgun Helldiver from the good Railgun Helldiver. The second thing you need to do is to switch over to first person perspective. That's gonna allow you to see that gauge a whole lot more clearly. If you're in third person, you're probably gonna have to go by timing more than being able to actually see the gauge which is something I'm not doing with this tank right here and it's an unnecessary risk. This shot is a much better example, so I first use the third person right here, but I'm not entirely sure how close I'm getting to the fullness of that gauge and I wanna get as much power out of this gun as possible to do damage to this tower. So when I switch over to first person, I can really see the gauge and actually make sure I get into that top red tier, which is where you wanna be. Now here's the third and most important step. Once you notice that the charge is halfway up the gauge, Switch your focus directly to the gauge itself so that now the target that you're trying to shoot is what's in your peripheral vision. This sounds counterintuitive and it feels counterintuitive, but the amount of time it takes for the charge to get from halfway up the gauge to that top red zone is a very small window of time and it's very unlikely that you're going to miss your target. You should still hit exactly where you want to hit and with a very powerful shot that you feel comfortable isn't going to blow up in your face. Practice this and your railgun will make you the new MVP of your squad when your friends are running from those nasty rocket bots and hulks. But does the railgun still have a home on the terminated front? Before we do, I just want to ask if you've enjoyed this video so far, please up, right, down, down, down that like and subscribe. It really helps this channel spread managed democracy. There are a ton of Helldiver 2 videos I want to make on the weapons, the strategies and everything like that, and potentially even make this channel just a Helldivers 2 community channel. So please let me know if you like this in the comments below and let's continue on with the video. After hours of gameplay testing using the railgun against the Bile Titans, I was trying to see if there was still some kind of sweet spot that I could replicate and get a one shot kill with a railgun. Unfortunately, those first two shots that you saw were the only headshots I was able to do, and it was a lot of rigorous testing. Most of the time, it looked a lot like this just running around, shooting everywhere I could, try shooting the neck, the jaw, the glowing part when he's about to spew, and absolutely nothing. 
nothing seemed to work as far as replicating some kind of weak point to get a one hit kill. Is it possible to get a one shot kill on a ball titan? Technically yes, but it is not a reliable strategy and I really do not recommend trying to use it in that way. Now you can do damage to a Bile Titan with the gun. So if you have several people on the team and they're all focused on the Bile Titan just by trying to shoot it in different ways, you can put in some work and trying to help out, but it is not a very reliable counter and you're better off using the rail gun for other things. But what about the charger? Now there is a little bit that you can do with the rail gun against the charger. So if you shoot it three times with a well-charged shot to the head, you will actually kill the charger that way. You can also focus two to three shots on the legs and then once that armor is blown off and the bug meat is exposed, you can start shooting out with your primary weapon and doing the charger the way that it was before. Now, if there's a couple people on your team with a railgun, then this is gonna be even faster. But the reality is, is if you're trying to counter the charger, the railgun really isn't the best way to do it. It is something that you can use as a useful tool if you are carrying it for a different reason and a charger shows up. The railgun really shines against the Terminates when you start using it against their armored infantry. Do you just want to see a bug go kaboom? Take out some heavily armored thing that you really don't want to deal with with your primary weapon? Well, the railgun can take care of that. And above all of these threats, one of the most annoying ones, except for the hunter, that's really, really killing a lot of hell divers is the bile spewer. And guess what? The railgun is a master at sniping these fools out. One direct shot to the head and they are done. For now though, until we start seeing some different enemies with the Terminids, the grenade launcher seems to be a much better answer to this problem. And quite frankly, I love the grenade launcher and I think it is a lot more fun to blow up swaths of bugs with that thing than using the railgun. But that doesn't mean that using the railgun is a waste. If you enjoy the charge up gun slinging, then by all means, use it and use it effectively. Thanks for checking out the video. I'll see you on the next one. You have accomplished